Music games are at the top of the charts, and this time in the bonus round, our discussion about games and music concludes. Will EA ever do its own rhythm game? I would imagine in the future there's a, there's a play in there. And where does Red Octane take Guitar Hero over the next five years? Well, there's definitely di different instruments, different genres of music. Find out right now, only in the bonus round. Hey, welcome back to the bonus round and our special discussion about music in video games. I'm joined by Steve Schnur from EA, Anand Zur, who's a famous video game composer, and Charles Wong, who's the co-founder of Red Octane. So Steve, uh, lots of you know, interesting peripherals out there for interacting with games. We've seen a lot of music games. Would EA ever do their own rhythm game? Well, sure. I mean, uh, you did a we're looking at boogie, flute see, hero and clarinet right. hero. We think there's huge... Sitar hero? Yeah, and woodwinds. We think there's a huge future in that. All right. Um, and marching band, because we want you to have those gigantic symbols and annoy the heck take. out of your parents, you know? Um, of course. I mean, you know, look, we're indirectly in the rock band business, you right. know, so to speak, because of our relationship with MTV and, and harmonics. And, um, and yeah, we've been in the music business, as I said, for years and years and years when it comes to recognize the impact of music in our games and how right. important it is to gamers. So um, I would imagine in the future there's a, there's a play in there. There's an EA rhythm game. All right, well, it's rhythm, you know. Have you got Some rhythm? Music. <laughs> I I, well, the thing that you can find out now a lot of these games is if you do have rhythm from playing them and also, you know, what, what you're talking about, Charles, in the next Guitar Hero is the idea of actually being able to sort of compose right. and a composition idea, which I think is the next step, is that you can play this music, but now you can actually, you know, compose your own singles and actually upload them online and whatnot. Right, exactly. So that we believe that's the next step to, uh, that, uh, you know, taking consumers from playing music to actually composing. Right. Now, and, and then being able to share that with, with other people in the community and, and, and being, having people be able to download original music that, you know, in our son may be don't creating put, in his don't bedroom. Don't put him out of work. <laughs> no, no. no, but actually, you know, you know, I have a request actually <laughs> as a very, uh, you know, intensive Guitar Hero player right. here. I mean, how about, do you remember like the old uh, days that we, as, you know, as musicians we had minus one. You remember minus one? We had like, you know, a drums and, um, and, and bass and you had to play the piano. Right. You know, with guitar, can you just like take like a uh, sort of like impro, you know, uh, sessions with us? I mean, that could be really awesome if you could. Yeah, we're getting to that And then point. gain some points. Yeah, well, we're getting <laughs> to the point where, 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 you know, we're creating things that are more sophisticated, both in terms of the peripherals and in terms of the software mm -hmm. to getting people to to play music uh, their own music one of the things that uh, we have uh, found out uh, from from other sources that guitar sales have gone up uh, in the last couple of years and a lot of people attributed to people having played guitar hero and then going out and playing mm -hmm. so we thought that you know one of the natural evolutions is to close that gap between people just playing the game and the music to actually going forward and creating music and playing instruments uh, and I you know we're not that far you know Arguably, a Guitar Hero world, world Tour, some of those peripherals are actual instruments. You can actually take them and play. We've done that, I mean, with, uh, with Rock Band. I mean, we've created a relationship this last year with the Grammy Foundation, which, you know, is all about music in schools. And we use, particularly the percussive uh, instrument, we use it as a teaching, wow. teaching tool in, in high schools across the country. So you do see, because at the end of the day, when you play the drums in, in Rock Band, you're, you're somewhat playing the drums. Yeah. I don't like the fact that, you know, I like to put in my own fills sometimes and I don't right. get points for exactly. it. Exactly. You know, that really annoys me that I have to, and I really kind of want to do something that I want to do, but that's my own personal problem. But, you know, we are using it as a teaching tool and finding, just like he said, that more and more um, kids, I mean, kids in junior high school and high school are starting to, you know, acquire a taste to learn uh, the drums um, because they've been at home playing rock band. So, Anand, for people that play these games, what do you think is going to prevent this genre from dying out? Because now we've, you know, literally got full bands with these games. We've got, you know, all this music. I mean, how can they keep innovating, uh, you know, when you have the full band, you have these instruments, you have the software? Well, actually, I, I want to take it to a total different direction, but on the same, um, a same issue. And actually, not only the genres are not going to die out, they're actually going to get sort of like a great renaissance and, and revival. All the genres, not only rock or pop or everything. And let me give you a little example. I mean, um, a guy named uh, Karl Orff have composed a piece called Carmina Burana, 
uh, about a hundred years ago or something, you know. Um, I mean, you wouldn't expect, this is like a classical piece, you wouldn't expect anybody from our generation to know, I mean, because they're not, they're not into classical music. People remix it. Well, it. not only that, they're just bringing it as is, and it's not only became like a hit in video games, everybody tried to copy it for the last 10 years. Can you give me Carmina Buranek? And it was like, no, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so basically what I'm telling you is, I think that through computer games more than any other genres, more than movies, more than TV, the whole classical, you know, esque style, and without, you know, with this, you could bring the orchestra, the orchestral sound, and everything. You know, this had been growing. eighty instruments. Exactly, <laughs> that grew so much. Apocalyptica hero. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that that basically people really know how to not only appreciate it, but really, you know, oh, I love it. Diverse I love range of music. I mean, I read exactly. is Nintendo. I read is is developed a conductor game. Right, we so, so, right. so far, which you could conduct. I mean, Charles, is that something you think about? You know, with Obviously, Guitar Hero is all the rage right now, and you know, obviously, you're going to do annual products. But I mean, five years from now, I mean, where do you take Guitar Hero? Well, one of the interesting things is we looked at music sales in right. terms of CDs and what genres uh, they, you know, comprise what kind of market share. Um, and between the music that Guitar Hero and Rock Band covers, I think when we looked at the data, that's only about 30% of all music that's sold. So there's 70% of music that people listen yeah. to that we don't even use in our games. Yeah. So Dance Hero and DJ yeah. Hero. They'll be around for Look, a while. Look, I'm still going for the flute know? because somebody's <laughs> got to be able to play Aqualung or other right. Jethro Tull. There's a whole genre out there missing. Right. Yeah, do you think, are there more, I mean, people obviously talk about keyboards as something that people haven't seen yet, which I think, you know, could be interesting. You mentioned minus one. I mean, the idea of, you know, having a keyboard that people would be able to play. I mean, that's something I think, you know, there are a couple more instruments, but where do you see it going longer term? Well, there's definitely diff different instruments, different genres of music. Right. Uh, you know, as far as people have asked us, you know, are you afraid that, that someday you'll, you'll sort of play out the, the, the content, the music content? Right. And, and I say, well, as long as... No, because you're going to have to rebuy it every year. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. but as, as long as people create great music, mm -hmm. the music industry and the music in games will always thrive. And that's the key, and, and I think that, um, mm. you know, so we're not really worried as far as we see, because there's just, there's always, you know, there's people like Yana who keep creating great music, and so as long as they do that, there'll always be great music. You're not going to play out the music. At the end of the day, <laughs> exactly. look, we've got, you know, you, you've had music, you know, from the 70s, from the 80s, right. from the 60s, I mean, and like I mentioned earlier, mu the music industry is in the greatest health ever. There's so many opportunities. To be a 19-year-old, 18-year-old kid in a band right now is so much better than being a 19-year-old kid in a band 10 years ago. You have so many opportunities to reach fans directly, you know, to create fans. It's not about selling the disc. It's not about getting the major Hop label contract. YouTube. That's it. You right. know, so ultimately the goal might be how do I get in a guitar hero? How do I get in a rock band? Whatever the case may be. So great music is coming and right now, and it doesn't take hundreds of thousands of dollars to make a great record anymore. Yeah. So I think, you know, the future is really, really bright for music games and frankly even more so, music. the future is really bright for music in general. It's the greatest time ever. The labels are excited, and I see, you know, the artists are excited. You mentioned, I mean, Madden, which is coming out next month, is going to have, you know, a huge number of, of premiere huge. songs, right? Uh, ten of the, th a third of them. Wow. Premiere songs, and, uh, yeah, pretty, and the, and, the, and the bigger artists that are in there are really big artists, yeah. and we've got this Madden Palooza event where the bunch of them are going to play, so yeah. it's pretty exciting. But, yeah, this is more debuts in Madden than we've ever had. And if only you could play those songs in Rock Band and Guitar Hero. Hopefully Madden <laughs> 10. Down the road. All right, well, guys, it's been great having you on the bonus round. Good luck with all your uh, musical uh, things you're doing down the road, and we'll look forward to hearing more about uh, where music is going in games in the, the months and years to come. All right, well, that's it for the bonus round. We'll see you next time right here on GameTrailers.com. Bonus round.